and the next question is called distribute books uh, code beta 2019 it was also asked in zone one and it's called distribute books and let's just have a look at the question right now okay so i'm just opening it up on the edis platform for us to have a look so yeah okay so distribute books uh so there's a lot of english over here one of the first rules that you should realize is the more the english the more verbose the question is the easier the question is actually right um it is generally easier to solve all of the verbose questions so it's not that difficult usually to solve the verbose questions or the ones which have a lot of words okay all right so for enhancing the book reading school distributed uh, story books to students as part of the children's celebration uh, to increase the reading habit the class teacher decided to exchange the book every week so that everyone will have a different book to read she wants to know how many possible exchanges are possible okay that is if there are four books and students the possible exchanges are nine okay bi is the book of the ith student and after exchange she should get a different book other than bi now this is nothing but initially if it was b1 b2 b3 b4 um it is saying then the next exchange it could become b2 b1 b4 b3 then b2 b3 b4 b1 basically all of the combinations we are, we are trying to figure out all of those combinations over here such that b1 b2 b3 and b4 are never again in their original positions okay if you look at over here b1 b2 b3 b4 are in these positions they should never again come in that position like look at this one is are any one of them in their original positions no none of them are in their original positions okay so what we are trying to do is trying to find out all of those combinations that are not there in their original positions okay so given a number n how many combinations exist such that they are not there in their original positions all right okay how do we go about solving this problem um first hint this is the first question i think uh, for for one of the students in zone 1 this was the first question if it's the first question now it might look like recursion to you it might look like oh i have to generate all of the combinations and everything right but if it's the first question most probably that's not the case if it's the first question assume that it's going to be easier assume that it's not going to be that difficult and try to solve it after that okay now if this is the case if this is not going to be uh, like that difficult then what's going to happen okay uh my suggestion again over here is if you do a little bit of googling okay which is what our team did just before uh, we got onto the webinar we got a, we did a little bit of googling and we found out something called derangements okay and if you look and if you read up about derangements so i am actually opening up the wikipedia page of derangements okay derangements is nothing but the exact thing that's described so far okay uh, a derangement is a permutation of the element of a set such that no element appears in its original position okay so that is what a derangement is and that is exactly what we need for this question okay in what for example if you are given a b c d right so a derangement uh one second yeah so a derangement is are those arrangements that do not have any one of the original uh, alphabets in their original position so for example all of those ones marked with red over here are wrong they are not a derangement because they include at least one of the characters in their original positions all of those characters over here marked in blue are the ones that involve a change in the order of the character which is nothing but what we really wanted over here we don't want b1 b2 b3 b4 ever to come back to b1 or b2 or b3 or b4 that is we don't want any one of them to be at 1 2 3 4 positions respectively they can be in any other position that's fine but we want them to not be in those positions and we want to find out how many such positions are there that they are not in their original positions right and that is where this derangement comes in it takes a little bit of googling to find out okay but once you found out most of the work is done that is you figured out that uh, all of the number uh, uh, you figured out that there is a series like this and if you just go down there is actually a formula also for it okay and the formula is this where exclamation n so you are usually used to n exclamation but exclamation n is known as a sub factorial so what we actually have to do in this question is calculate sub factorial of n not n but sub factorial of n okay um so just coming back to the slides what this question is actually asking us to do is don't calculate n but calculate sub cal sub factorial of n all right which is nothing but uh, if you uh, just check it again n uh, over there is one second 
if i just open up uh, the question sorry uh, the wikipedia page again what we get is um let's just check the series one second let me just open up the wikipedia page again okay so what we get over here is the first number in the series is 1 okay uh one second yeah the first number in the series is 1 the that is when n is equal to 0 it's 1 then after that it's uh then the second number is 0 after that it's 1 2 9 44 which is but what that it's nothing so if you see 9 over here 9 was the number that we got when we had 4 if you remember the question had given us an example where when n is equal to 4 we have the output as 9 right so n is equal to 4 that is n is equal to 0 is 1 n is equal to 1 is 0 obviously there is only there are zero derangements of 1 uh there is one derangement of 2 there are two derangements of 3 there are nine derangements of 4 and so on right so if we just bring that back to our slides yep yeah. so that's what we have over here so that is sub factorial of n if you start with n is equal to 0 uh, for n is equal to 0 what we going to have it's taken by convention that it's 1 uh, for n is equal to 1 it's 0 for every number after that what you supposed to do is take the sum of the previous two numbers that is 1 plus 0 a little bit like our fibonacci so you take the sum of the previous two numbers and you multiply by n minus 1 so here it would be 2 minus 1 into 1 plus 0 so 2 minus 1 into 1 plus 0 is 1 then what do we do uh, 3 minus 1 into 1 plus 0 so the next number would be 2 then what do we do 4 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 3 into 3 is 9 so it's going to be 9 okay so it becomes 1 0 1 2 9 and so on it will keep increasing like that okay so we have to find just to find out the derangements if you calculate this formula then you get the answer right and this formula is very very similar to your fibonacci series in fibonacci series what you used to do you used to calculate uh, if i could say your f of i that is fibonacci of i was equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 so just go back to your fibonacci series which by the way is one of the first questions that we discussed on edis platform go to your uh, fibonacci series and instead of doing f of i into f, f of i equal f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 all you have to do is do i minus 1 into f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 so just in fact recycle your fibonacci series you don't even need to worry too much you have to do this the only catch here is because the numbers are going to give too big you have to do a modulo okay so you will have to use a, a, a modulo of a very big number and give the answer according to that that's the only change over here but the number of combinations possible you just have to calculate derangements and you will get your answer right to figure out how to do modulo just go back uh, to the prime factor section and we have a discussion over there on how modulo works right so just go ahead and check that section out on how modulo works but that's a very small thing that you're supposed to do implement this formula and you're done okay now again if you had spent too much time thinking about the solution that is uh, if i just bring that question up again okay so if you had spent too much time thinking about this question you would have thought yeah maybe i have to generate all the permutations maybe i have to think too much uh, if you take look at it the number is also quite big and i have to generate the permutations check which are the permutations which are possible not possible don't get into that right uh, in all of the first easy questions right make sure that you google a little bit just a little bit of googling helped us get this derangement series and finding the output of a series is really not that difficult all of us can do it with a simple for loop right so try out this question it's one of the simpler ones you just have to take all of the numbers modulo 1 uh, <coughs> 10 raised to 9 plus 7 uh, that's a big prime number so you just have to take it a big modulo this but apart from that uh, the answer can be obtained very simply and if you would have just found let's say this question came to you if you googled it you found derangements you would have solved this question in 30 minutes and you had five and a half hours more to spare so that's one of the tricks and trust me like a lot of people ask well what are the tricks how do we find out all the tricks you don't have to find you don't have to buy hard these tricks like we did not know about derangements before we saw this question and we saw this question only one hour back but a little bit of googling helped us that hey you know we don't have to figure out the solution somebody has already figured out the solution we just have to apply the formula so go ahead and try to apply this formula um, again it's not too difficult uh, try out this question once the